In our next exercise, we would like to make use of the new elements we've learned. Now let's consider the following scenario. Imagine a company that sells products online. The process starts when a customer places an order on the company's website. The first step is when the sales team verifies the order for accuracy and completeness. Then, warehouse staff checks the inventory to ensure the products are in stock. Next, warehouse staff prepares the products for shipping and the shipping department supports with the product preparation. Then, the shipping department arranges the shipment of products. After which, the warehouse staff updates the order status in Salesforce. And finally, the warehouse staff updates inventory levels in SAP Ariba after the order is processed. The end point of the process is when the order has been successfully shipped. You should be able to complete this exercise in 10 minutes in any process modeling platform. Please remember to start this process by adding a pool and swim lanes and only then add your start event. In our next video, we will see the sample solution. I hope you all had the chance to create the process model from our exercise and utilize all the elements we've discussed in our course so far. Now let's try creating the process from start to finish following the scenario. We will start by creating the pool to represent the online company. Then we will create swim lanes for all process participants. We have the sales team, warehouse staff, and the shipping department. The first step of the process falls within the sales team, so this is where we will place our start event, which is triggered when a customer places an order on the company's website. So we can simply name the start event, customer order placed. Then we will link this to our first step of the process, which is to verify the order. We have further description of the task, which we can type into the task documentation attribute. The sales team verifies the order for accuracy and completeness. The second step of the process is within the warehouse staff, which checks the inventory. We can drag and drop the task element from the shortcut menu to the warehouse swim lane. Again, we will add the additional description in the task documentation. Warehouse staff checks the inventory to ensure the products are in stock. The next task will stay within the warehouse staff swim lane, where they will prepare the products. And the rest of the information we will store within the documentation attribute. For this step, we have a supporting role, which is the shipping department. So the way to visualize this is by using the additional participant element and connect it to the task. We are going to label it shipping department. Next, the shipping department will independently arrange the shipment and we should not forget to add any additional description in the documentation. Then, we will create a new task within the warehouse staff swim lane, which updates the order. This activity is performed in Salesforce, so we will need the help of the IT system element, which we will connect to the activity and name it Salesforce. We will add the additional information in the task documentation attribute, warehouse staff updates the order status in Salesforce. And the final step of the process is for the warehouse staff to update the inventory. This activity is supported by the SAP Ariba system, so this time we will use the shortcut for the IT system element and name it accordingly. And once again, we'll add the additional information. Now all the steps within the process are complete and we can create the end event which indicates the order has been successfully shipped. And this is how you can create a solid process model from start to finish using most of the key BPMN elements.